So we have created our rig using the Genoma 2 Unity preset and let's see how it is possible to export it to Unity. We can interchange data between Lightwave and Unity using the FBX format. So let's export the current scene in FBX. Since we're going to export just the rig with no animation, we don't need to check animations here or bake motion envelopes. But I want to change the name and to something like uh, Robot Kyle Unity or better Lightwave and save it. So we are now in Unity 5 we have our main camera, the directional light, very similar to what we have in layout when we open it. And we're ready to import our character as an asset. If you want to learn how to use Unity, there are some fantastic tutorials on the official website. I'm going to create a new folder. Lightwave to Unity tutorial and I'll import the rig as a new asset here. So Robot Kyle LWFBX. We can see the preview of the object here and we can define which kind of rig we want to assign. In this case we want the animation type to be set to humanoid since we're dealing with a human-like character and model. And once we're done with that, we can hit the Configure button. We can apply the changes without problems. And see how all the different elements composing the human body have been recognized correctly. So those are the names we assigned to our genome items in Modeler and those are the corresponding items, rigging items in Unity, in the mechanism humanoid rig. Unity is very smart, it can detect which item has to be assigned to the corresponding item in its internal uh, rig, humanoid rig, but also can understand which is the correct pose for the character, even if you know our original character was not in a perfect T-pose. If we click on muscles, we can also test some poses and animation using those sliders. This is a very important test to perform, so we we can be sure that our rig is going to work perfectly with the animations and motion capture data animation we can find in Unity. So we're finally done with that. We can drag our asset again in the scene and assign and test some motion capture animation. To be able to do that we need to create what in Unity is called an animation controller. So let's click on Robot Kyle LW and we can see there's no uh, animation controller assigned. We need to create one. So create animation controller. We can then select Robot Kyle LW again and drag the animation controller here. So we're finally ready to add some motion capture animation to our character. Let's click on Animator. We can now choose some motion capture animation. Let's choose a run cycle and drag it into the animation window. If we hit play now, we can see our character running. Let's stop the animation and let's select and move the main camera in the scene so we can have a better shot of our character. Okay. We can see here the camera preview of the 
game environment. So let's move it a little bit like this. Maybe we can rotate the camera this way. And we can also, of course, parent the camera to the object. So let's hit play again. And now the camera is parented to the character, so it's following its movement. We can also add some other animation. So let's add a jump, like uh, this one. We can make a transition. Let's hit play again to see the final result. Now we have added another animation. We can also, why not clone the first clip we added to the scene and make another transition, hit play. Now we have a run, a jump, and a run again. Lightweight 2015 and Unity really work very well together. Thanks to the very good FBX interchange file format we can find in Lightwave. The Genoma to Unity preset makes creating and exporting a Lightwave character rig something really easy and immediate. And it can be expanded according to the user need. We're waiting for your feedback about it so we can further improve it. Thanks for watching.